What's up? This is your boy Super and I'm playing Minecraft. Last video we pulled a boat convoy and brought all our stuff back from ye old warden lair. Since then I did some organizing, I put everything away. I made some bamboo. I mean I chopped down some bamboo, made some cactuses. I mean that's cactuses, some scaffolding. So we can build our house. I also been have been chopping wood. Got two stacks of eat well not not birch not birch. So that's what I've been replanting is birch. And all our tools are up there, all our monster drops, all our empty, all our valuable. Sixty-four diamonds. I love it. Love to see it, right? Empty, empty, all our farm goods. I switched the, the, I fixed the farm. It was oddly shaped, you know, for natural generation, whatever. So I squared it off. And this last row wouldn't retain water. So I, and I, like, I, I, I filled in the front, made it nice and square. Put carrots in it, put some torches by it, called it a day. Still in the process of getting all the acacia and jungle trees chopped down and the birch replanted. I think we're about ready to start our house. Like I'm really, I really, I, really, I don't really know how to put shape. Like I'm tired of boring old square houses. I know that much. And we got to make it fit in here, and it's got to be big. Extra big isn't that a problem? I don't know how big it needs to be, but extra big is not a problem. So I'm thinking like like a big rectangle to fill this area. Add it on to, well, we can move this over so, or fill this in with sand. So I want, I want a little walking room outside the house. And then maybe another small square up here. It could be, it's going to be multi-level for sure. Anything that makes noise, I guess, can go outside. <clears throat> as far as farms and rooms and everything go, so that means like an enchant room, a brewing room, all those will be indoors. Auto smelters could be indoors. Don't know. I'll have to see. But it's night time now, so we must sleep. So probably the darker log is going to be things like the trim, the doors, the roof. Or if any type of window seals or shutters we make, then be the darker ones. Probably the floor. I'm actually getting some use out of it for sure. Lots and lots of use. It's awfully big. That's an awfully large group of leaves to not have a tree stump still stuck in there. It's gonna. It's a lot easier chopping down the birch. I don't have to pillar up to it. We got all the sticks we need for a long time. Forty nine right now. Don't need any acacia saplings out. Don't need any jungle. We haven't gotten any birch. Waiting to switch foods. <laughs> Tired of the cookies. Got a lot of lamb chops here to eat. I also like tall roofs, I guess. First thing we should be doing is clearing everything out of here. And away from our build area. Pick up one of these. Oh, this is right in our build area. This one should be empty. Completely forgot that all this nonsense was in our nonsense was in our build area. Last two eggs I got in a row. Everything. 
inside the scaffolding. Let's just go with everything in our inventory, even the hole in the scaffolding. This is going to be the hard part. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Hungry again. A lot of good the damn cookies do. I tell you, they help you read them, but that's it. Don't help with hunger anyway. Not a lot of tools for that second chest. We actually don't need a second chest. Drops, chest empty, logs, valuables, and plant life and building blocks. Like, those can all stay, those are all going to be kind of annoying. <coughs> Monster drops. And the next thing. A double chest worth, uh, no, we don't have any double chest worth logs. Perfect. Except that my chest is not no longer in my hot bar. Lots of, lots of wood. Valuables. <coughs> All that work organizing it just for to tear it all up. Okay, now the first chest farthest to the back is the right one for my current inventory. Probably not going to use be using birch. I'm going to try wood and that's a stone cutter. So the wood's not going to work. I remember trying that. So all, any of the wood we can take out of there. Diamond pickaxe. Scaffolding. Crafting table. <clears throat> so we're going to start with demolition, I suppose. Some ground formation, framing, I mean, foundation. Ground formation, foundation, framing. I don't really know if I want double doors or single doors either. I can work with from a design, house design perspective, but then when it comes to building interior things, I'm not sure if I want it even our odd space <clears throat> also going to need sand and dirt sandstone we don't have enough sandstone to build a part a portion of the house
So maybe got a lot of extra sand. That is not dirt. I don't think this is uneven like <clears throat> So I probably don't probably don't want this square that's not much of a house. You no, know, we're not leaving much walking room. I would like at least two block walking path three block walking room for pathways. So that leaves two a one by two house. That's not gonna work. So we fill in the sand here. And then three in. That's it's, it's a long skinny house. Okay, it's kind of bulbous at the end. I like the natural curvature of this little pond right by our house. I like the idea of this being a dry dock. That's what those are called. I couldn't think of the word. That's awesome. I like that. <clears throat> I don't mind like having a step in the middle of the house either. We, like the back wall seems like you can do that no problem so three so let's see how this works here so like that we could always take a level out so that's kind of a three path kind of yeah it's still a two by two which isn't going to work there that, that's going to have to be some type of outdoor area and then we go three in. Three in. Let's plan for this to have at least one. More, we, if we want more, we could take it out. But then, turn this into a step. But what is this? This is like an auto smelter area. I'm thinking something like that. But I'll, I'll, I'll like to, I want to use all this empty space. We could try to do some diagonal type thing. Like that's the corner. That's not going to be proper path. That will. That's about all we can do to have a three by three path around here. I like the idea of that. I also like that being a, a staircase. And you, just, you go to this part of the house. You come down the fancy staircase overlooking the pond going up like that so and then three by three this would have to be wall and to maintain the three by three we got to go in right there yep definitely and this would have to be I'll already be the corner and the staircase so the corner would really be up there gives us a lot of room to work with the staircase we go right there no, that's a two by two we got to go on the inside um, this is minecraft of course we could use one block wide spaces for something Everything is a one black wide space. Oh no. Good oh, and we got another banner. He's got an enchanted crossbow. Why didn't he want to fight? Piercing. I suppose that's all right. Let's get it. I guess it's going to look more space. Even if this was one block wide, I was going to say that's one block wide. What are we going to do there? But even if it was, it's two. But even if it was, this was going to look a lot smaller when it's a staircase. 
sandstone staircase. So almost none of our house is going to be if we did it this way none of our house would be wood and we have more wood than anything else we worked hard for wood we need to make use of it so we'll make this go up like the corner of the house starting here three is that three yeah and this look and this offers more room because that's wider than that long skinny piece was. And I keep the three by three going. That's two by two. And now it's still a two block wide either way. But then we can curve right here still. And that gives us large portion that's going to be wood. I think I want to go take it back to this tree some more. Maybe. Like, so I don't really know what we would do, how we would be decorating the inside. This looks like the main area of our house is going to be here. So this comes up. I wanted it to be a staircase. So this is the three by three and we're out of dirt. <coughs> We'll go every other block then. Yeah, let's incorporate this first. Large block of beach front property here. Then we're going to go across with the thing. Pretty big. Let's just start with wood. Start with wood. So we're going to try jungle. We don't have any acacia. Acacias are light, and that's not looking like a light wood compared to birch and jungle. Yeah, I love that looks ugly. That looks really ugly. Birch with either of them doesn't look... Actually, no, that don't look bad. I don't know why it looks so ugly from the side for a second there. So jungle's going to be like our grounds. So let's make some more jungle planks. And let's start building this wall, I guess. trim or just around the base of the house so 
I like the floor, the corners. I want it three walking space. That is three, right? So this can be the roof. and just the top of the walls. That's not what I wanted. The leaves need to hurry up and fall. And right there goes down one. Oh, why did that not turn out right? The divs turn out right. Christ, can I place the bot? So that looks like the front. I'm sorry, I had to mic me. This is going to be a very contemporary modern build. I, I was just talking through my building process, my thought process. We got some carrots ready. Can we take a nap, please? Definitely gonna be in the way. This is also a big chunk of land. Clear land, like your house would have been better just like on this chunk. You know, we could make it a big, large square there. But we still can. 
a little bit too far over there. Let's even go one farther and start curving it in. Yeah. This is big enough, especially going multi-story. Multi oh man, at the end of the build, I decided to make a stack. And so I didn't know how to bring this back around with making it with the walkway right there. Yeah, this is structuring like a balcony or something. That's what I was thinking, making it a balcony. And this is supposed to be sandstone. Well, then we should just make the sand, not sandstone. This sand, birch planks, not birch planks. Come on. And this one will sandstone out, out, and fuck out of my way. Oh, now you're gonna die. And I'll still trade with me. Coral, pufferfish, acacia. We're a long way from home, it seems. Is this still a three by three? Yeah. How far out can we go? Like one or two blocks. I don't want to go out one or two blocks. And there, that's kind of making use of it. It's three by three. See, but this isn't enough for big enough for an enchant room. But they're all oddly shaped. Not the right size. Besides the main one, you know, we're gonna have to have like enchant set up on its own floor in this center thing, and like, like something like the auto smelters over there. The, you could have like a, a row of chests or something there. Put a brewing stand there. But now we need some stairs. Jungle stairs. That, that's going to be a confusing spot when it comes to stairs. And, and this all, uh, time for a diamond shelf. Well, So a diamond shovel. Where's my crafting table? Go a diamond shovel. That's what we need. What are we missing here? Sticks? We just had like stacks and stacks of sticks. Where the fuck did they go? Come in handy here. I think we'll just just 
started on the, the wood. Might be too much wood. It's probably look better in another texture pack, but I'm sorry, resource pack. But all this dirt. It's not even dirt. And in the wrong spot. That should be all about all our what kind of planks are those? Spruce planks on hand. Spruce logs on hand also. Jungle, that's jungle, right? Not spruce. <laughs> that was still there. That's me shall fall. This is the biggest, weirdest shape house I think I've ever built. I, mean, I don't know how we're going to do all the nooks and crannies. I think we'll end up squaring and enlarge, enlarging things. Like, like that section might just go... Dude, this one turned out fine, but this is going to be a little odd. I don't know why. We could just make that like a big window. sandstone stair combine properly with the wood stair in that corner area. We don't have the stone carvers in this one. There she is. That sandstone is the sand. We just want one single stair. Like we probably should have made it like chiseled sandstone or something. Can we do anything with that? No. I think we wasted a piece of sandstone. What is that kind? Sand, sandstone. What, what other kind of sandstone can we make? Cut? Or, or chiseled? I know chiseled can't be made into stairs. But can cut sandstone or smooth stance? Sandstone. I think there's smooth sandstone stairs. Let me see. And for that, you smelt sandstone. So we got red sandstone stairs. Sand, smooth red, so we must have smooth sandstone stairs. It requires smooth sandstone. We have our don't have our furnace out. Definitely the in the interior I think we should be doing that. Definitely smooth sandstone for the floor. Chiseled stand sandstone for the corners and the trim. And regular sandstone for the center of the walls. furnace in here yeah okay making a lot of good progress here charcoal in here yeah I think we could get by with one thanks to the stone cutter but we'll see So 
Smooth sandstone. Smooth sandstone stairs, one for one. That's not that bad. We so we wasted one sandstone block. It does curvature with the wood. Now that's the beautiful. That's why you mix buildings for shit like that right there. Oh, this is supposed to stay. You know, it's supposed to be smooth sandstone stairs. Let's put the sand back. So we're gonna just go ahead and make some a bunch of smooth sandstone. 12 yeah we got a big floor I, I don't think we'll worry, have to worry about having too much extra and we can start digging this up and putting this as jungle planks wood simple there's you know there's there's not different types there's, it's all it looks like planks it's all called normal wood was easy to work with but guess that's why it looks a little ugly sometimes it's too simple too fragile, too abundant. It's weird how the the value, the reason, the value of things and everything carries over to the Minecraft game. So rare, hard to find, hard to get, hard to obtain materials. Not just like. Not necessarily hard to find, but once you do find it, it's hard to extract it or make use of it as well. Like honey, that's how you add value to things. So we're already done with the wooden floor, look at that. So then we got a double trim here. That needs to be, I think that, yeah, that needs to go one higher. Then we're going to have a choice about trimming. The roof might have an extra block on it that we can cut off. That the walls don't. See how it's a V shape? So this doesn't need to be here. The house will be enclosed without it. So that's extra and we could take it off. The, the roof, we're going to be building that with or without it. I love that we need only three, well, the rest of it's still going to be sandstone stairs. Or smooth sandstone stairs. I remember a long time, I don't remember much of the details, I remember making sandstone house. And for some reason I, I made everything out of smooth sandstone. And I regretted it and I couldn't get the sandstone back. That was the update that the stone cutter was introduced. Now it goes back one, so that's going to be awkward. I know we haven't placed the blocks properly for that. Yeah. Like if we have to place one here, I would rather take it. Yeah, we're supposed to take it back there. Oh, that's not the right one, though. And right there, that, that's how it's supposed to be done. And... I guess just put one there. It's coming along beautifully. Very nice. I like the open floor plan. plan. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to have to set sail for some more sand soon, soon here. That's what we're on right now, right? So can I put sand in there to get sandstone? No, you gotta use the crafting table. So we could just work on the wood for the moment. So what are we doing with the wood? What are we, the top trim? Those are the height they need to be. So on the fourth block, Bring it in. Fourth block, we bring it in. Two. One more block. Then we're back to sandstone. The back wall. Damn jungle tree. I mean, cocoa beans.
Roof's going to be a challenge. Oh, that, that, was, that was probably just a walkway, not really a door. I'm sorry. I, I love the way it's looking so far. It's like a 70s open floor plan, cul-de-sac type deal house. Yeah, we need a lot more sand. Make sure I got the indented corners. But then that's supposed to be trim. Fuck. Then we just sandstone it out there. Partner, that's it for the wood. Besides for the roof, I can't believe how easy that was. I'm, I, I, I guess like there was a time when I used to play Minecraft. I used to be a builder, but I don't really remember it that well. I should just chop that down. It's not only gonna. We're going to need sand for sandstone, we're going to need sand for glass, and it takes a lot of sand for sandstone, but I know what we could do. The old Trojan horse trick. I'll show you after I remove this layer. I think, like, this was supposed to be walls and things, and this was just supposed to be floor, the smooth sandstone. I think that's why I messed up, because I was, I was putting it up as the wall, and I, like, made stacks of it, because I knew I was going to have more walls than floor. And I was like, this, this, this is supposed to be the floor. And then, like, you know, I watched ancient Egyptian things, and I remembered, like, that's how it's done, the steps and the floor are smooth square, smooth big squares and then if there was little bricks it was the walls it's the old Trojan horse trick coming up here like if, if we were going to have sand as a floor we only need the top layer to be sand so we dig this up and we replace it or we don't really replace it we just put a layer of dirt, then a layer of sand above the dirt if we wanted to. But we're not using dirt or sand, we're using sandstone. We also don't have the inventory space. So I'll show you. So we keep digging up the sand. We might as well take the sandstone too. Man, we need that double chest of the black stone. We don't want it too hollow down here, but I need to... Damn, that's a long ride. So this 11 dirt's gonna go. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We gotta empty our inventory. We got the chest for it. But we don't have a filler block. Like, we need a filler block. I'm not, like, I guess we could use dirt. Like, I'm used to playing Skyblock where dirt was valuable. We need all the dirt, all the sand, sandstone. No birch wood. We need the jungle wood, acacia wood. Uh, acacia wood, sand, dirt, sword. Okay. Like, we only fill in the top two rows. One to hold, but we're using sandstone for it, so we could just fill in the floor and leave this hollow. But that would take some torches. Okay, there's more sandstone down here. I don't want mobs to spawn. This is a lot of sandstone. 
we don't need to holler out this whole thing. This is, what is this, like three stacks of sandstone just here? And it's too time consuming. But you get the idea, I'm not going to do that. You don't want mobs to spawn down there. Like I was thinking, you know, you need it for like two rows. So you take it down four, you fill in the top two. Or top one if you only need, if you're not using gravel or sand. But you just got to remember not to let mobs spawn. We just might leave this. this. This is a lot of sand and sandstone. Just this one row. That could be it. Let's get to making some smooth sandstone. So we got 55 and three stacks of sand. We could just turn the sand into sandstone. And I don't think we'll need 55 either. 27. Smooth sandstone just being that floor. I don't know. We're going to use stairs for the roof. But I don't know if we're going to use smooth. Probably should use regular sandstone. Regular sandstone stairs. Less bumps. Less damage to your feet. Less problems. I guess. I don't know. So we're going to make just smooth sandstone for the floor. That's right. One more, come on. Taking quite long there. Since we have, right, we don't have regular sandstone, but we can make some. And get to working on the walls. So let's get some chiseled sandstone. Cut sandstone. How do you make chiseled sandstone? Show me all my chisels. Not chids. Chisels, man. Chiseled sandstone. Two slabs. Okay, let's make some slabs. Okay, we should be using the stone car. Glad I remember. Yeah, and then we can skip over the slabs recipe and just go to chisels, right? No, I just smooth and cut. Oh, that is chiseled. Like, let's see how cut looks at the floor, because I don't... The smooth does look a little weird. Oh, we want the cut. I don't think we can reverse the smooth. That's why, because I wanted cut sandstone for the floor. That's why I wasted it all last time. I wish I had remembered it just a couple seconds ago. That looks, that does look a lot better. Or we could just use that for the trim. And let's see if we can make smooth sandstone into anything. Slabs and stairs. Let's do so. Just this line by the stairs is going to be cut, and smooth is going to be the rest of the floor. Didn't mess up too bad. You hate, I hate to mess up with sand because any sandstone or sand because it's like a, a limited resource. Well, it was, used to be. What should I do next to the walls, the cut too? I don't know. 
What do we have on us now? Sandstone stairs, sandstone, sand, 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 sand. Let's take the sandstone, make four more cuts. Do that one too. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more cut sandstone. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like how it automatically selects it when you put it in your hot bar. I love the stone cutter really. The builder's dream. That's, we should make this slabs if we can. I keep forgetting slabs. Now we're gonna have to tear up the whole wood floor and do slabs as well. I don't think you can do cut sandstone slabs, but we definitely fucked up on the wood. Yeah, you can't do slabs with cut sandstone, so yes, it's got its own pros and cons. Not being able to use slabs with it. A lot of people would change their mind about using it after that. So smooth sand, smooth sandstone slabs. Do we have any smooth sandstone? No. So while we're doing smooth sandstone, we do. Damn, this sucks. Jungle wood slabs. can't put jungle wood in the cutter so it's a good at least we're doing something while that's happening with mobs or anything unless we place it on the bottom block bottom half of the block but then we can't build properly with it so I don't get why I, why that's even that's not a thing that's more of a a you know completely to do with programming and the, the other side of it. it has nothing to do with the player and him being spawning things and needing to spawn things it may have just been easier to make it so they, they can't because it's half a block not because they're trying to change the game rules to affect the player we had some food there it is it's like it, they, they made it so you could place slabs on the bottom half of the block then when the mobs spawned in, they were floating half a block high, so they're like, fuck it, let's just make the mobs not spawn, you know, something like that. And this was made by, like, one guy when he was in college or something like that, so... Pretty, pretty reasonable assumption. So right here... Yeah. Alright. Make it easy on ourselves. Alright. It wasn't so bad redoing the wood. Not that bad at all. Got a little extra, it looks like. We are saving a half a block. So we just like doubled our amount of blocks by doing that. But unfortunately, they're all slabs now. Well, these ones aren't slabs. So we'll have some extra blocks. Oh man, we're so close to finishing it. We're out of running out of time. Or being so far in along with the progress, you can see my vision. 
and we'll only need one more video. Oh, I totally messed up there. I'm over the sand. If we had to build walls like that, it would make the rooms too inconvenient to furniture. But since it's just the floor, it doesn't really affect anything. It's like, what would we do with this weird ass little wall room like that? And, uh, glad that it's hard to believe that's still supposed to look like that. Damn. It looks bigger when we were planning it out. It looked looked alright when we were planning it out. It looks weird now. But it's all good. One there, one there, two there, and a couple more. I hope we preserved the way it was with the whole slabs. Looks like we did a good job. Yeah, okay, so should I have some sandstone ready? Smooth sandstone. And we're making it slabs. Right. Right. I know I don't want the border between wood to be cut sandstone, but around the other sandstone seems like it has logic to it. And so they don't rub together or cause each other to break. I'm going to have to put cut sandstone next to the regular sandstone. Something weird like that. Like this is has real design to it and artistic expression here. <laughs> up the floor between the next video but it's been your boy super player minecraft thanks for watching